What's up, uh, this is GF Laserbook from GamerFusion.com, and one of the highest questions I am currently being asked is how do you farm or how are you able to get more accommodations? How can I get my accommodations faster? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm accommodations. So for those people that don't know, I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of what accommodations are and what are they used for. Uh, I do, I did make a video earlier on what accommodations were, but just for the people watching this video, just a quick reference, I would highly suggest you go watch my accommodation video but right now I just personally want to show you exactly how you can find out what level or how much points you need to get your accommodation so you guys can know exactly what you're going to be able to be needing or what amount of number you need to complete this accommodation so first and foremost I would highly recommend uh, you could do it without this but I would highly recommend for you guys to do the weekly nightfall the reason being is because you will gain extra points from completing uh, the nightfall you get extra rep points it'll give you more when you not only turn in bounties but it'll give you more when you also get uh, you know pick up do, do this setup of the way I'm telling you to do it so real real quick with the reason I came to the tower is just to show you guys exactly how you can check how much accommodations are so basically what you're gonna want to do is check your Vanguard rank with your factions you're gonna come down towards the table and just check how much you need more to level up the vanguard so you can get that accommodation so just go to your you know this whichever one you have to go I'm a warlock so I'm gonna go to this one right here it says I have 2383 so that means I need about 200 200 points uh, more or less than 200 points but about 120 points to get this done so I'm gonna show you today what you need to do to get these points up and running so let you can go to orbit once you go to orbit, you're going to go ahead and select Earth. You could do these in Moon, but I would recommend you guys doing it on Earth. So we're going to be looking doing patrol missions. And the way we're going to be doing these patrol missions are going to be very, very simple. It's just going to be a repeat, repeat, repeat process that you're going to have to do. So we're going to go to Earth, select patrol, and launch this battle board. So you saw we needed 200 points. Remember, accommodations, you're going to need to increase your Vanguard rank in order for you to be able to get your accommodation up and get that envelope from the postmaster which will allow you to purchase extra gear for your specific character so if you you know first you're going to be able to purchase the gauntlet and the boots but in order for you to reach level 31 you're also going to need the helmet uh, you're also going to need the chest piece so in order for you to get these pieces you're definitely going to need to level up and get that accommodation so you could purchase you know whichever item it is that you're looking to purchase so Let's dive right on in into the moon and you're going to be needing these quite often depending if you want to do it for each specific faction, especially if you want to buy weapons. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go look for the patrol mission that has the star. Why the star? Because the star gives you more points than any other mission. So right there we don't need that, we don't need that. So we can easily skip this section right here and head over to the moth yard until we find the one that has the star. The one with the star is uh, you have to kill a target so once you kill that target you're gonna gain reputation from that target so what you're gonna do is if you didn't find nothing in the steeps alright we're gonna head over to the moth and you see right there we already have one with the star we just gotta track it where it's at let's see uh, it came up when we saw when I saw it when I was coming up I saw the star now it disappeared hmm. alright so let's just go up here and uh, just head over here real quick and look for the star no star right there, no star right there, alright no star up there either so we're gonna go and skip this and head towards the Forgotten Shore if we don't get anything there we'll just head back to the Divide and see if we have any mission from the star mission so if for some reason nothing shows up what we're gonna do is pick one up and cancel the mission so the beacon can show spawn back up and we're able to see what you know what the mission has entailed for us so do this one more time and check to see okay right there we have a star I believe yep so we found the one with the star so what we're going to do is head over to the one with the star and pick that one up go over there where is it oh, all the way up here so let's go oh well just let me get out of here just to make this quicker we're going to head to the star beacon and it's all the way over there so this one right here is going to tell us to kill a specific target you'll see right now once we kill this target 
how many uh, Guardian, points we're going to get towards that. Alright, powerful enemy? You may want to get it before it gets you. Yes, we'll, we'll get it right now. So, the cool thing about, uh, we have to destroy the server. The cool thing about this is that it's usually not really far away from where you have to get it. So, you're just going to, we're going to go kill the servitor right there. It should be up here somewhere. So it's telling us to go all the way up there. Whoa, run into a rock. So, let's go destroy the servitor. Come on, and uh, we're gonna head our way. So basically, what you're gonna want to be doing as soon as you kill this target, you're gonna head into another section of Earth and go ahead and uh, look for another star. If for except for some reason in that section you do not see a star, all you're gonna want to do is pick up each patrol, abandon the patrol until uh, go to another section, then go back, and you should be able to get a star going. So right there, you guys, you see, you see, we have the servitor. So what we're going to do is shoot our Galhorn, kill that one real quick. Okay, it's done. And about, right now you'll see the reputation game, 31 points just off the bat like that. So if you do three of these, that equals nine. Uh, that equals 93 points. So if you do four, you should be able to get 100 points for every time. So it's not going to take a long time. What you're going to do is now that we came up here, we're going to work our way back down. Apparently we're not going to have any anything else. That has a star because we already picked it up. So what we're gonna do real quick is I'm gonna show you guys is we're gonna pick up this beacon and just abandon it just to pick it up. We will abandon right now. Pick up the beacon. All right. Let's uh, hey, go. This is holiday. Okay. Ban for scans in this area. Abandon Sending objectives. The details. All right. So next time we come, that beacon will be activated with another type of uh, a strike. So we're gonna go back into the moth yard and check. If there's any beacon that um, has a star, once we check that if it has a star, it will be a laser. Now, I do recommend if you're doing this with friends, it will go a lot, lot faster because you guys could split up in teams and just find the stars, uh, you know, within teams. Once you pick up all three beacons, which are the the ones with the, the profile target that you have to hunt down, you will then need to uh, reset and uh, start up the level again. So. Once again, we have nothing here, so I'm just going to check back on Earth. If we don't have nothing right there, we'll just go ahead and exit back to orbit and come back into Earth and then just cycle it over and over until we get rid of all these starts. So let me know if you found this video helpful and informative and does help you guys do the... Uh, it does help you guys do the... Oh, see, see, there's a star right there. So you see right there, when we first came in, there was no star. This time around, there's a star. So... Let me know if this video helps you guys learn how to farm more accommodations and helps you guys get up to gear with your accommodations. So let's uh, head over there, complete the one with the star. Where to go? Where to go? Come on. Give me a star. Where's the star? Tell me I'm not crazy. I did see the star. Where'd the star go? Now it was up here. All right. He showed me the star, man. He showed me the star. Apparently I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Nope. I saw the star, fellas. But I'm not seeing now. Alright, so if this one doesn't work, you're gonna want to head over into the uh, divide, which you should be able to get beacons as well, and just verify that there's any other one. If not, what we're gonna do is go back to orbit and uh, repeat this process again. Until we are able to complete all the ones that stars. You could do this in other maps like the moon. Um, you could also do them anywhere else. And uh, just look for the star ones. But uh, I found that Earth seems to be working a little bit better than the moon. It's a lot easier to spawn uh, the stars for some reason. I don't know. It's just my personal point of view. And uh, what I've found to seem to work a little bit better. But you could also try it in the moon. The moon does also give you hard, uh, high value targets to kill and destroy. Uh, it's uh, pretty effective, so let's see right there we have a star. Yep. Alright, let's just verify. So right there we got another one. We'll pick up that beacon. And that's going to give us another 31 points. And once we complete these 31 points, we should be able to, you know, get our rank. Uh, as soon as we do it, the more we do it, the more stars we pick up, basically. The more we will be able to uh, eliminate the Fallen Vandal crew, which is where... Alright, so this one's cool because it's really close by. We just go in here and pick this one up. Alright, so we go in here. Pick this guy up real quick. 
think these are gallon. Do I even have a super? If I have my super, I can use that too. So you just want to have your rocket just to get get them done real quick. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and throw that bomb right there. That's picked up. We get to pick up heavy. So that's 31 as you can see right there. 31 and your Vanguard reputation is going up really, really, really quickly. So all you're going to do right now is go check up check up on the uh, the rocket yard. And to just double check. And uh, see if there's anything there. If nothing's there, then you're just going to repeat the process. Go around until you find another star. Once you find the stars, you're good to go. Uh, you picked up all three stars and uh, you should be ready to uh, hop back out of Earth and then come back into Earth until you're able to complete it. So, right there we have no star. Right there. Nope. So no stars. So we're probably going to go around here. See if we can uh, pick up more beacons. Alright, nothing there. Nothing there. So basically you're just going to be rolling around until you find another beacon with a star. The reason I'm letting this video play out is because I kind of want to see you guys how uh, how long how long it takes to uh, to actually do this mission. So we'll go over here. Let's see. Right now we're the, we're within 10 minutes, and uh, I have oh whoops whoa what's with my driving? All right, let's go down here. All right. Usually what I'll do what I'll do is swing around and uh, try to get to. Uh, I could either go through the forgotten chores and uh, swing around through there, or I could go and check up through here. Just swing in here and then go all the way around to the moth yard and see if there's anything that spawns back here. So I just go in here, get this through. Come on, come on. Alright, so we got the wizard right there. Later, later, alligator. Right, so far, we got nothing. We got nothing here. Come on, work your way up through here. Here we go. Alright, we worked our way up here. Get out of here. Oh, watch it move out the way, buddy. Alright, so keep keeping our thing active so we can know exactly where it is that we have to, uh, we have to pick, if we can pick up another mission or beacon with a star. If we can't, then we'll, we'll just restart and go back to Earth and uh, cycle it over again. So it's just pretty much a repeat, repeat process that you have to do over and over again. It takes about 10 minutes. You can pick up two to three, depending if the map is populated with the star beacons. If not, then you're just going to have to go ahead and uh, just uh, come back in. So we see right now we have no, no more. Uh, the only thing I need to check is this uh, sky watch. I'm just going to go up there and check real quick since I'm already around here. This area just to verify that I don't miss one. And then I can just come back out down and uh, restart the uh, the map again. So this is a quick way to, for you to be able to get more uh, and pretty much farm all the... Uh, you know, pick up your reputation and farm the accommodation so you guys can put, get those things rolling up and get your armor as quick as possible. So... We don't have a star here, I believe. Nope. Only the kill objective once. So, I'm just gonna check the sky watch. So, we get anything here on the sky watch. Alright. Just check out sky. We don't get anything further, then I'm gonna end the video there and go ahead and. Uh, it defeats beating up strikes. I mean, a lot of people tell you to do strikes to uh, build up the reputation or to. Uh, to do different types of stuff, but I found this to be a little bit faster, especially if you're doing it with a team. It'll go really, really, really quick. You're gonna be like blazing through this because everybody could split up, and you guys can knock this down faster as opposed to doing it solo or doing it by yourself. But if you're doing it solo, you're looking about 10 minutes to 15 minutes to complete it, so you should be good to go. I mean, it's not that long, 10, 15 minutes does grant you about 100 points uh, per every 10 to 15 minutes, so should be good to go. Alright, so a shortcut through here is just go through the through the window. Once you're in the window, go through here, and you should be good to go. We we'll should be able to see what we should be able to see what uh, type of missions we have available here. If we don't have a star, we will go back to orbit and repeat the process. So, nope, no stars here. You see? Nope. Alright, so we'll go back to orbit. And uh, 
I will just hop back in into the uh, into Earth just to just to see if uh, we get that one in the front. If we get the one in the front, then we'll, we should be good. Usually, you just want to make sure you go from the steeps to the moth yard to the forgotten shores. That should be your route. I went around just to see if I could find something else, but as you guys see, the divide also had something, so which was pretty cool. So all you do is come back, go back to Earth, and patrol, and you should be able to get these down really, really, really quickly. So let me know. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and it helps you rank up and level up these uh, accommodations because I know a lot of people are having a little bit of difficulty. They're kind of like, man, I can't believe I have to redo this all over again. You know, got to level up by New Year. I already had a lot of ascended materials. Now I got to come and do this all over again. But this is an easy and effective way to get these accommodations up and running for you guys. Well, let me know if you found the video helpful and informal. I'm just going to wait uh, to land real quick. Also, let me know what you guys think of the new DLC and the new updates that are within the DLC. If you guys are enjoying them or not, or are they a little bit too tedious for you guys. So, I'm already come back here. Weekend. Let's uh, verify what... what uh, let's see, come on. Alright, so we got that one. So we have no stars. So we're just going to have to repeat and redo, repeat and redo. I'm pretty sure if I go here, I might be able to spawn one just to double check real quick. And uh, if I don't spawn one now, then I'm going to end the video right there for you guys. So no, I believe, uh, let's see. I believe those are the ones that, oh yeah, so it does look like there's a star mission, but let me go check over here. Nope, no stars, only uh, scouting and... Scouting, scouting, but you guys see that they do change what they are. So if that doesn't work, you go to the Forgotten Shore. If there's no star, you're going to go ahead and recycle that and go back to orbit. So let me just go check if there's a star over here. Because last time we came, there was a star the Forgotten Shore. So maybe we pick up another star and uh, we're able to kill another target or another servitor real quick. So basically, you just want to go you know, from point A to point B and uh, just cover as much ground as you know. You can just go in a big circle through the Garotus and uh, work your way around until you find the star. If you don't find nothing within one loop, then all you're going to do is go back to Earth and uh, redo, redo, redo. Or you could go to another planet if you guys are getting bored of Earth. So right now we have no star here as well. We are starless fellas. So, alright, we're just going to have to come back and uh, redo, redo, redo. Alright guys, don't forget for all things Destiny, head over to Game of Fusion where we empower your gaming.